It's open. I didn't ask you to sit down. I was just passing through. I don't see Lenore. I heard she was with a child. She's under the weather. I'd just like to see her for only for a moment. We grew up together and I've seen her indisposed before. I thought she wasn't feeling well. She's not taking visitors. She is my cousin. And her mother asked me to check on her well. She's my wife. And I said she is not taking visitors. Lenore? Lenore, are you in here? Nora, your mother's concerned about you and the baby. Thought you should come on home so she can. She stays you. here! I fell, getting water. She don't mind her manner, she's gonna keep falling. Get you then. She stays here, Dad! Ain't something say her! No! I won't lie for you. Tell them what you want. Here's $100 in Yoakum Silver for you and the baby. They'll think I stabbed him! Now they won't. Go to hell! I will. But I got a promise to keep to an old friend. So there's nothing we can do. No extensions, no refinancing. She's lived here her whole life. Nothing. I'm tried. Banks are supposed to work with you, but hell, every time I call, I never get the same person on the phone. When I do, they just end up putting me on hold. You stand right kicking an old woman out of her house like this. Might as well drink this before they put a lean on it, too. Nothing we can do. Hell, we're underwater on our own house. There ain't no way we're gonna get $20,000 before Friday. Might as well be a million. That's crap. The bank suckered her into that refi. She didn't even need to. Hell, they didn't tell her the risks or nothing. Chris, I think it's time you learned two of the facts of life. One, life ain't always fair. And two, the bankers and the lawyers and such, they always win. Well, not always. Dinner's ready, Mrs. Stanton. find you well. Oh, rest up, have a bite to eat. Thank you. Dylan would roll in his grave if he knew I wasn't showing you every courtesy. This would be just fine, thank you. I really just stopped to say hello. Can't say long. Law a lot would be looking for me. But I promise your late husband I'd look in on you from time to time. The law's after you again? 
What, did you rob another train? No, ma'am. I killed an unarmed man in his parlor in front of his pregnant wife. I can't believe a word you say. Trust me, it's true. At least that's how it's gonna be printed in the papers. They'll go on and on about what a great God-fearing man he was. An asset to the community. Now I'm the devil incarnate. If we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Why, wow, that's the book of John. I keep the word of the Lord close to my heart. These are some fine beans, Miss Stanley. Oh, they're just beans. Times have been hard. War's over. Things will get better soon. Maybe for the winning side, but there are repercussions for a widow of a Confederate. Like what? Well, the bank's been demanding a note to be paid, and with all the crops and the livestock that I lost during the war, I'm never going to be able to make that up. Uh, the bank's supposed to come to terms with those, work something out for everyone. Well, the man at the bank, he lost his son in Pilot Knob. And he's been holding some resentment towards me ever since. He won't work something out with you. Well, now, he was one of more than I was willing to pay. Thank you, this has been good. This will catch you up more to help you through a few more years ahead. Well, I can't thank you enough. Just make sure you get a receipt signed by him. In fact, get two receipts. Why two? So he can take one back with him to the bank. Keep him honest. So you uh, happen to know where he goes after he calls here? Well, Preston's followed him before. He usually goes up in those hills to get his whiskey refilled. Mm. Stanton, you think any more about my offer? Why, well, I'd rather starve to death than be your whore. Starve it is. Why well, have your money? A thousand dollars in gold. What? Where'd you get this? And I'll be needing a receipt. Why? Don't you trust me? Better yet, make it two. One for each of us, written in your hand. Drop something. Just trash. It's to me like you're gonna throw this receipt away and hide the gold. It's your word against mine. I know who you are. I got wanted posters on you. Wanted dead or alive, ten thousand dollars. You gonna collect that pound of flesh? You don't scare me. I've killed more men than you have. With bullets or lies. Go to hell. Jesse James, just a myth. Hell is empty. All the devils are here. That's how our family almost lost this place after the war. Sold off a good chunk of the land during the Depression. 
Tax has been eating at it ever since. Couldn't we just sell off another chunk of land? Not in time. And even if we did, it still wouldn't be enough. Yeah, this place has survived everything from droughts, floods, tornadoes. And it's all gonna be lost due to a stack of paperwork that nobody understands. Slick talking businessman selling snake oil to widows called refinancing. System designed to fail. I wonder what happened to all that gold? Who knows? Could be anywhere, could be nowhere. Could be Jesse James took it for himself. Could be just a story. Great-great-granny did swear up and down that he used to come by time to time just to keep an eye on her. You know, he was friends with Grandpa during the war, before he died. How much gold was there? About two pounds, I'd say. Damn. Damn's right. It's about $50,000 in today's market. Well, I'm done. Hitting the hay. Don't drink all this hooch. Y'all have to do before Friday.